Now, the former leader of the English Defence League, Tommy Robinson, raided the offices of the anti-extremism think tank Quilliam earlier this week, claiming that one of the organisation's authors had labelled him a white supremacist. Quilliam ejected Mr Robinson and the cameraman who was with him, and they made a complaint to the police. We're going to be talking to Tommy Robinson and Haras Rafiq of Quilliam in a moment. Let's have a look at the footage of the incident filmed for the online channel Rebel Media. So today we're going to an organisation called Quilliam. And the reason I'm going there is one of their, their leading researchers, a lady called Julia, she's writing an article yesterday in The Guardian where she declares I'm a white supremacist. Ah, bang, Mark. You haven't got the phone? No. Okay, so you might have been so. Oh, Alright. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Alright, how are you doing? <laughs> Julia? Hi, could you mind if I ask what, how I'm a white supremacist? I did not say that you are a white supremacist at any... No, I did not say that. You can read the... Why are you trying to break his camera? 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 Guys, come on. Come on, and uh, Harash Rafiq, the chief executive of Quilliam, joins us now, as does Tommy Robinson. Uh, Mr. Robinson, let me come to you uh, first. I mean, you, you often complain that you you are portrayed as much more extreme uh, than you say you are. But do you think bursting into an office like that and ending up in a bit of a fracas uh, helps in the kind of image you want to portray? The doors were open. I was very polite. I walked in with one cameraman and asked a simple question. Now, bear in mind that the lady in her article had called me a white supremacist. In the last two weeks, I've had to go to four different companies' premises who have all run headlines that are complete lies. And this, for me, this isn't just about me. This is about people who support me. It's about working class people at home who have been pigeonholed as extremists, as racist, as far right, when they're not. They're genuine concerns and fears. Quilliam's purpose, though, is, is to counter extremism. Um, shouldn't you really be on the same side if, if you are what you say you are? Um, if Quilliam is what they say they are. Now, the, the Quilliam was named after a man who was pro-caliphate, who wanted polyg uh, poly polygamy, who supported the, Mar the Maha, um, who were fighting in Sudan, who were a caliphate organisation, the same as ISIS, if, uh, which I have to ask questions as to why Quilliam's named after him. Why is it na not named after true reformers? Mohammed Taha, who was killed in 1985, he's a true reformer who wanted to take the violence out of the But you do that does a lot of work to promote moderation, do you? Well, it seems that only people in that office who wear certain ties are allowed to have an opinion, everyone else is called far right or extremist. But you know, you've had group photos with you, attended rallies, you've tweeted endorsements, endorsements of groups like Britain First. Um, I, I've reported on the Britain First demonstration, and right. as I've reported on Muslim demonstrations, as I, I've now been reporting for Rebel Media, so of course I'm going to go to these organisations, I'm going to try and, and, and the reason I'm going, and I have to go, is because the truth is not being relayed to the people at home. The mainstream media, whether it be the BBC, they're all reporting fake news, they're lying to people. Quilliam, since this, since this has happened, Quilliam have come out and lied to people about what happened, but then when the video goes online, it shows the complete opposite. I was not there bullying, I was not intimidating, I was asking a simple question, and the reason I'd done that... You were trespassing. Um, trespass, there was no, there was no key pound signs, there was an open door and an open office. I walked into the office. Now, when you, if we want to talk about that, I think we should be talking about what, the, what that lady said. Well, let me kind of come to that in a minute, but I just, I mean, you... You recently retweeted a, Brit uh, retweeted a Britain First video about fake news, media lies and dis distortion. That by association, it doesn't associate you I with recently, I recently retweeted an article on ISIS. It doesn't associate me with them. What was the article pro ISIS? No, it was showing the facts about ISIS. Oh, right. well, if, that this video was showing the facts about if the, media, the, media, the media's lies about what's happening on ISIS. The facts are seen by a hard right group. Um, but that's nothing to do with me. Again, I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to, I'll, I'll be here to talk well, about myself and the demonisation of people like me by liberal elitists, by media, right. a, a campaign that's gone on for eight years. In the last two weeks, if I've had to go to four properties... No, you've said that. You said this that. Is, yeah, because this has gone on for ten years against me. Right. Let me, it's let not let me come to harass Rafiq. Um, on this Guardian comment piece, uh, you effectively did call them a white supremacist. <laughs> let me clarify something now. The Queen position on Tommy, whether he's a white supremacist or not, Quilliam and I, and Tommy knows me, he's been to my house, he's had dinner with my family, he knows I am not somebody who has a, uh, a vendetta against him, and he knows actually what I stand for, so I'm surprised that as Chief Executive he said Quilliam stands for something else. But Tommy is not a white supremacist, the Quilliam position is not that Tommy is a white supremacist. Now, come to the article, uh, an article was written by somebody, uh, I wasn't a researcher. 
Ask him about somebody. The processes need to be changed. That I vet everything now from now on. Did you not vet this? No, I didn't. I didn't Can I just let our viewers know uh, sure. what was said? Uh, uh, what this uh, um, uh, woman, Julietta, wrote for the Guardian was the far right has moved from the fringe into the mainstream. Uh, it demonstrates massive support that white supremacist movements have attracted. Uh, their online fellowship often exceeds that of mainstream political parties. And then immediately says, Tommy Robinson's Twitter account has almost the same numbers as Theresa May's. So, I mean, although it, she didn't write, uh, Tommy Robinson is a white supremacist, it would be hard to come to any other conclusion when you read the the, the, the logic, the, the, the chronology, chronology of that article. I, okay, let me again reiterate the position. Tommy Robinson is not a white supremacist as far as Quilliam is concerned. Reading that article, and, and by the way, Tommy could have wrote me and we could have sorted this out. So that's a different issue. We are in touch now, probably we will sort it out. Um, the article was not meant, I've spoken to the author, the article was not meant to say he's a white supremacist. It could have been worded better, absolutely. It was meant to say, according to her, that um, Tommy has followers, as many organizations do as well, who are not white supremacists and will attract people who are white supremacists because sometimes they will feel attracted to a message, not necessarily his fault. Right. So it was clumsily worded. Isn't it? I, th I think it should have been worded differently, but it was not meant to, and my reading of it was not to say that Tommy is a white so supremacist. So there has he said on live on network television, he doesn't think you're a white supremacist. Well, and I'm the head of the Everyone knows I'm not a white supremacist. The problem is that this was wrote in order to demonize, slander, and stigmatize people who are criticizing Islam. That's what this was like. No, no, and that's not just about me, that's about people who support me, which is frustrating because for me, I, I meet people in the street who don't like me and they don't know why they don't like me. When they, they don't like me, I get attacked regularly. And when I get down to talking to them, one person actually attacked me. I went to his house and spoke to him and everything he thought I stood for, I didn't stand for. And that's because of articles like this. Right. Can I, can I, can I, that's fake news. Yeah. Yeah.